What's up YouTube? It is your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video and thank you so much for coming back to another video and today is pretty, it's pretty, not I would say super exciting but it's a cool little install we're doing. Uh, we are actually going to install two mods today and uh, number one is something that Honda should have came with. Like all these 10 gents should have came with this part and for some reason they didn't. Uh, and the second one is we are adding more interior carbon fiber and I'm super excited to get this. I'm gonna show you why I'm doing it and how we're gonna do it. It's pretty simple installs both across the board. I think anyone can do this as long as you're comfortable working on your car. Uh, we're gonna get into it. But before, let me just, let me show you one second. So this is the first thing that we're gonna be doing and this is the cover plates that go into the engine bay which looks like should have been there and someone stole it. It's like Honda employees took it, even though they didn't, I'm just messing around. It's like Honda's like, you know what? You have a great deal on this car, but we can't give you these pieces, unfortunately. Uh, so <laughs> we're gonna install that. Uh, it's gonna look really, really good. So note that if you're a Canadian, this will not work unless you have the PRL windshield wiper reservoir relocate. Say that 10 times fast. Mm -hmm. If you don't have it, it will not work. Trust me, because the way this sits, all you guys in the US, this definitely works for you. All us Canadians, we got the shaft. So let me show you the second thing that we're installing. So the second thing that we are installing is this carbon fiber. Yes, I said fiber, because it's not real carbon fiber, but it looks really, really good. And I've had a lot of these like faux carbon fibers inside the car and they actually look fantastic. There hasn't been any wear or anything. The ones on the mirrors, actually, the mirrors actually wore out pretty quickly. So I took those off, if you guys haven't noticed, but the interior ones have been absolutely fantastic and these are actually pretty cheap and I got them shipped really, really quickly. And just 3M tape on the back and we're gonna install them. And I'm gonna show you why I did it. Like the cheap little plastic didn't look too good and I wasn't too happy about that. So we're gonna do that. Before we jump into this, I just wanna say thank you once again to 780 Apparel for hooking me up with the sweater. I know I've worn the sweater three times in a row. I like it, what can I say? It pops, it looks good, it's comfortable, it's a nice sweater to work in. So if you wanna grab yours, remember you get a discount code, it's Chris Lopes and it's at 780crew.com. Go check it out. What is really cool about this is they're trying to match streetwear with environmental needs, so per order, they've actually planted a tree. So it's really, really cool. Check their website down below, they got some cool merch. Get that drip. Yeah. And uh, so let me show you what we're actually doing. You saw some of the carbon fiber and get some close-ups. I'm gonna show you that. And then we're gonna get into the car and I'm gonna show you how to install it. It's really easy stuff here, guys. Stick around, stay tuned, and let's get it. So these are the carbon fibers. I actually test fitted these and they actually fit really, really good. And it comes with four pieces. I think it was some 30 odd, some Canadian dollars to $40. And it's not bad for the fitment is actually really good and actually looks really, really good. And then we have these engine cover pieces, which we're installing as well, which I think we may do actually first, and we'll do that. And then after we're gonna put that on, just so kind of like the faux look of that, just so you get an idea of how it's gonna look, we'll just put it on top. I still have to install this. Uh, yeah, I've been slacking, I'm sorry guys. We'll get to this. If you guys are excited to see a DIY how to install the valve cover, comment down below. I really wanna know if a lot of you guys are looking to do this. And once again, the color looks so much better in person than it does in camera. This just looks like light, like beigey green one. It's like a highlighter yellowish. So these are the things we are installing. Here's the EP3 Type R, and there's the tension, and here's my messy ass garage. So we've been getting slaughtered with winter. Actually, not that bad, I'll be honest with you guys. But we just had another winter storm. I would've washed the car, but we're getting hit with snow again, so I'm not gonna wash it, makes no sense. You guys understand. So we'll be replacing that guy with that green, and then we're gonna use the black uh, QD oil cap on there and it's gonna look really good and then now we're gonna install these pieces which will go all along here and if you look at the engine bay you notice that it looks like it's almost missing them right looks like someone stole it but they did not so let's get into this first and then we'll install the faux carbon fiber afterwards I just overlaid them on top and as you guys can see there's no drilling no nothing necessary it literally has every hole ready in the car as you can see like look right there and right here, like that's there already. Um, a few that you're gonna have to take off are, you're gonna have to take off these guys here, just remove them, and then reinstall them on there. They actually did give you clips as well, and then if you notice here, it's the same exact thing. All the holes are pretty much in its place, you don't have to drill anything, you just have to remove clips. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this, let's tackle it. 
It's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna make the engine bay look a lot nicer. And once we have that valve cover, it's gonna even look way better. So to install this, you'll need some uh, clip removers and a number 10 ratchet, 10 here. And we have a clip in that corner we have to get as well. And then the holes that don't have any clips, they basically came with it and we'll use that. So what I'm gonna do first is start with uh, these guys here, probably one, two, three, and work my way all the way up this side. We've taken all these out that we need to take out. Coming up this way as well. The last one we have to take out is this guy right here, which might be probably one of the hardest ones just because of the positioning of it. If it focuses in, you guys can see. Um, I just took you guys off the tripod just so you guys can see it. But basically, it's really easy. Just follow the molding of this and you'll know exactly which ones to take out. And just note if you're doing this in winter, these are prone to breaking, these clips. So just be very careful. Now we're just going to put that in its place and place all the clips and the the bolts back in and yeah it's gonna look a lot better than this garbage like come on Honda take notes for the newer ones people need these there's no two things uh, on camera by accident I did take out a bolt I didn't need to which would have been that guy right there you don't need to take that bolt out that holds your headlight in so I'm gonna put that back and with this rubber what you're gonna want to do is put it on top because this helps seals the hood I'm assuming and don't put it underneath even though it looks like you'd want to because of this lip but don't do that just continue it just the same way this is like that so I just want to update you guys on that quickly so as you can see we put all these back in all we have to do now is put a clip here here and here and we're pretty much done uh, the fitment I would say is maybe like an 8 out of 10 you kind of I don't know if it's because it's really cold but like as you can see this hole doesn't line up perfectly but we'll be able to shift it might have to loosen this to shift that to get that in uh, but they did come with a bag of clips so this is the bag of clips that they came with and uh, they're gonna look like this so they are gonna look different they're gonna be the ones with the Phillips head on it and we're gonna use those in those three spots over there and then we're pretty much done so as I was doing this uh, initially I used one of these bigger ones here but which looks like it probably be proper to do that but they only gave me two of them so I decided to put two of the same size one side by side just because it looks a little better and then eventually maybe I'll just get another clip to replace these then if you want you can always replace these with like these guys here most likely it would work I'm not 100% but it looks like it would but definitely 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 looks so much better like I'm telling you this should have came like this what do you guys think down below these small mods make the big differences at the end of the day Looks super clean so these are super easy to install so what we're gonna do is you can flip it you can remove the 3m on each one but do one at a time and uh, what you're gonna do within your door is you're gonna clean the area where this is going on you can use water and dry it really really well uh, some people use alcohol but I'm not gonna use alcohol on that interior panel there uh, so I'm just gonna use a bit of uh, a wet cloth and it will stick pretty good and yeah let's see how it looks so this is what we are covering up uh, you're not removing this it just literally goes over it's not a replacement it's a cover and I just hated the way this plastic looked in my opinion I think the full carbon looks better don't mind the car it's winter mode but as you can see I do have quite a bit of that full carbon inside the car and it looks really good I like it a lot personal opinion some of you guys don't some of you do but check it out five minutes later so my opinion that looks really really good the fitment's actually really good note that if you're doing this in winter it may not be prone to sticking so make sure you press really down on it and if it's not sticking kind of warm it up uh, but note that also that it's going to submerge the buttons just a little bit because it is a cover and not a replacement but if you look fitment's actually really good on it i'm actually super surprised and the quality looks like it's same as what i have within the car like this point's not sticking, so what you can do, you can always warm it up a little bit. It is cold today, and boom. Now I'm gonna install the other three, and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So, as you can see, it looks really good. I'd give the Fitment maybe a 9.5 out of 10. The front are really good. The back has a tiny, tiny gap. As you can see, if it starts raising like this, I'm gonna have to warm this up, and uh, just press it down, and it'll stick. But right now, just because it's really cold out, having a bit of an issue. This is the rear here. This is the only one that looks like it wasn't perfectly made. If my camera wants to focus, 
as you see there's a small little gap right there but aside from that the rest of it's pretty good once again clean your surface if you're in a warmer temperature you won't have to worry about it sticking like I have to right now but yeah it really adds a nice little touch to it and yeah and here's the last one looks really good I'm actually really happy about it as you see the inside of the car has carbon throughout it and now comes to this side and comes here next thing I really want to do is I want to see if I can get these door sills in red I think it'll look really cool pop and then once I have the HFP mats back in there I'll really pop the interior here is dirty it is winter I can't wait for it to be over We're almost there and let's check the engine bay one more time and there is the engine bay the covers look so good I do not regret buying them they look a lot better Honda if you're listening you should have these on all your cars don't know why you don't well yeah there it is I can't wait to start doing things underneath the hood like aesthetics like the valve cover and all these little things I think it's gonna look really good bring the bait together I'm just gonna show you guys some of the parts I have lying around so you guys know that I'm not forgetting about the tension uh, we got a new bumper finally and we're gonna install a new grill maybe the new garnishes the bumper garnishes from Honda and uh, yeah a new fog light because mine's broken and boom got an exhaust excited for that too for the EP3 we all type R we also have parts coming in too Surreal having these two cars, I'm not gonna lie. Really, really cool. So overall today was a success. Uh, we installed two little parts that made a big difference within the car. So in the engine bay, we installed the covers and it really pulled the engine bay together. Those covers should have been there from Honda. Don't know why it wasn't, but it looks a lot, lot better and I'm super excited to do the valve cover. And within the interior, we did the faux carbon, which really, once again, kind of ties in the carbon I have within the car to the door sills and then eventually I would like to do the door cards there maybe in a car or something a nice red I think it really pop and look really good once again it's my daily so sorry if it's dirty and stuff spring and summer is around the corner and we're gonna get a lot more videos and the cars gonna get a lot cleaner we're gonna have a lot more in-car pulls and all that fun stuff I cannot wait for it I'm tired of this one it has been the worst but it hasn't been the best I want to say thank you so much to 780 for sponsoring this video if you did grab a sweater make sure to take a picture and tag 780 and myself on Instagram and if you do have one, comment down below as well. I'd be really interested to know if you guys actually dig the sweater. I really like it. I'm going to hopefully get a few more coming in soon. Just waiting on that. Before we finish this video, I am working on stickers for you guys. Uh, we're going to have some slap stickers of this new crest, this emblem that I made. If you haven't checked it out, it was on my Instagram story. And we got a cartoon version of the Tenchan. Eventually, we'll get the EP3 once I have a few parts on the exterior that I want. So it will resemble the same one. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. So I will have them. They should be around like five bucks. Pretty, pretty cheap. I'm not gonna lie and then once I have them in I will make a video it will be part of the next video or whenever they're ready and it will be on my Instagram so make sure you follow my Instagram so you can stay up to date with all the merch and all the cool stuff and yeah thank you so much for watching I love you guys you guys are the absolute best remember like comment subscribe do it once do it right peace out later